Hello, and welcome to our lesson on simplifying ratios. So we're going to begin with a ratio of 2 to 4. And we can visualise this as a picture where we have two circles on the left hand side and 4 on the right hand side. And we can see that for every 1 we have on this side, we have 2 on the other side. So the ratio of 2 to 4 can be written as 1 to 2. We can work this out numerically as well by dividing both of the numbers 2 and 4 by their highest common factor, which is 2. 2 divided by 2 makes 1, and 4 divided by 2 makes 2. We're going to use the same written method to work through the questions A to E. So for question A, we have a ratio of 20 to 50. The highest common factor of both numbers is 10, so we'll divide both by 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2, and 50 divided by 10 is 5. So it simplifies to make 2 to 5. For question B, we have 8 to 24 to 40. The highest common factor of all the numbers is 8, so we'll divide everything by this. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 24 divided by 8 is 3. And 40 divided by 8 is 5. So the simplified ratio is 1 to 3 to 5. And for question C, we have £1.50 with 50 pence. Before we can simplify this, we need to write them both with the same unit. So I'm going to write £1.50 in pence, which is 150 pence to 50. The highest common factor of both numbers is 50. 150 divided by 50 is 3, and 50 divided by itself is 1. So the simplified ratio is 3 to 1. Do you want to try and simplify the ratios in D and E? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. To simplify this ratio, we need to write all three numbers with the same units, and I'm going to choose centimetres. To convert 2 metres to centimetres, we need to multiply it by 100, because there are 100 centimetres in a metre, so this is 200. We've been given the 25 centimetres and the 40 metres to convert to centimetres. Again, we multiply it by 100 and we get 4,000. The highest common factor of our three numbers now is 25. So we'll divide everything by 25. 200 divided by 25 is 8. 25 divided by itself is 1. And 4,000 divided by 25 is 160. So this is the simplified ratio. And for question E, we have 25 pence to one pound. We'll convert the pounds into pence. So we have 25 to 100. We can divide both by 25. So we have one to four. Okay, let's try one more question. So in this question, we've been told that a table has a length of 1.2 metres and a width of 40 centimetres. Do you want to try and simplify the ratio of a length to the width and for part 2, the ratio of a width to the length? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. For question 1, we have the length, which is 1.2 metres, which I'm going to convert to centimetres. So 1.2 metres multiplied by 100 is 120 centimetres. So we have our length to the width of 120 to 40. We can simplify by dividing by 40, which is the highest common factor. So we have 3 to 1. For part 2, now we're going to simplify the width to the length. Well, the width is again 40 centimetres. The length is 120. Again, we divide both sides by 40. So now we have 1 to 3. Okay, thank you for watching, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again, and take care.